it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a Gigan. Um, Gigan is uh, Godzilla Kaiju. Uh, we're going to do the older version of Gigan, so that's pretty much it. It's going to be simple, easy, for beginner. If you love Godzilla, stick around because this is one of the villains. And uh, this is going to be probably about maybe a 10 minute video. So stick around the entire video because. Uh, in 10 minutes, you will have a new skill, all right? Uh, I am going to be using this Crayola brand marker uh, and regular printing paper. Also, don't forget, if you love learning how to draw, if you love learning new things about drawing, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification because that is where, um, you know, the learning comes from, all right? Okay, let's get going with the guy again. I'm going to go over here and draw a kind of small curve for the head. All right, I'm gonna go over here because Gigan has a um, a beak curve down, pulling back up here, and like kind of a beaky smile. Round it over here, cut off that beak. A couple of sharp teeth in there, nothing too wild. And he has a horn that wraps around the side. Curve over here, like so. And zigzagging that. Curve down below. Underneath. Pulling up. Curve below here, this beak, and pull up. Okay, that's the lower part of the beak. And we can draw like a tongue in there as well. If you want, after that, behind the tongue, we can just fill this in with darkness, the area behind the tongue. Cool. And then we have, so that we have this spike coming around the side. We're going to have the us, uh, the other spike coming around the corner as well. So over here, like so. Uh, those are clearly from like a mantis or something. I mean, clearly they're bug-like. All right, we're gonna go over here, draw the eyes. It's more of like a visor. Almost like a crewmate visor from Among Us. Sorry, I draw a lot of that, so it's on my mind. Curve up for a spike on his head, kind of like mohawk-like, pull down. over here the back of the neck back of the head keep going down here I'm gonna pull down for the neck below let me know your favorite Godzilla character by the back character by the way if you want to chill a little write in the comments be like hey I love Mothra or God obviously everybody loves Godzilla so it's kind of hard uh, my favorite is Biolante I really like Biolante the designs really cool okay let's get back into this gonna go over here he's got like a kind of a side vest thing going on I mean, he's kind of like robotic right but he's gonna it's gonna pull over here to the front of the chest area down he has spikes along his chest so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw kind of that area where the spikes are gonna come out of and I am going to draw those Spikes. It's like a buzzsaw thing going on. Right on. <laughs> Let's draw his arm over here. Uh, we're going to draw, he's got like uh, these kind of like Terminator 2 style hooks on his hand. So that's the end of one hand right there. I'm going to close it off over here. Close it off over here. A line over here. Going up the arm, down. Curve over here. Kind of like back in that vest, right? That's where the arm attaches to the shoulder there. Let's go over here to the far side. Kind of that same thing. We are going to 
Uh, let's pull an arm out over here. Bam. Curve coming in here. Curve underneath. Go up. In. Down. We're going to find either side of the body there. It happens to be behind the spikes a bit. And now let's draw his leg, right? And he's got a very similar thing. Leg over here. Whoops, I forgot to complete this. Well, not really. It'll, it'll work. I'm going to complete this kind of side vest thing that he has there. I just kind of pull it down. Curve over here. And I'm going to... Down down curve over here down curve here for the knee basically it's got like a knee pad pull down all the way and we're gonna go down for the calf goes down to the foot and the foot itself is a spike which is pretty cool all right He's got a tail back here, so I'm going to draw that tail and pull it back there. So that's going to go through this and connect right into the body, like so. Okay, you're with me? Hopefully you're with me. All right. I'm going to go over here and find the far foot. Like so. So, down here, here with the foot, all right, we got that spike foot from this side. Okay, let's go in and add some texture so we can tell the difference between some stuff. Uh, let's draw a line underneath here to split, there's gonna be a different texture at the top. And we are going to put spikes on the top. Now, this design is so ridiculous, honestly. Like, I, I like it a lot. It's like, re like I design stuff like this, so I love it. But it is pretty out there. I'm gonna go over here, and he has these kind of wing things going on. So I'm gonna pull over here, up. And I'm gonna do this kind of like bat wing thing. But they're really small wings, honestly. So it kind of goes like that, and then maybe there's one behind there, like so. And he has a couple more spikes coming down from the back of the head. All right. The last thing you can do and is over here, chain. there's a pattern on his stomach here. And it's kind of like this dragon armor pattern. So what you can do is, is draw these little U-shapes here. You're indicating it, but you're not drawing it everywhere. You're just kind of putting it like a few places and it'll the viewer will be like, oh, it's everywhere. That's called indication. You know, these like little U shapes. And it kind of looks kind of like an armored thing. And you can draw a couple of lines over here that are thinner, right? As of like they're the bones in that wing. <sighs> Maybe draw a couple of lines over here in the neck. Um, down here, like so. Curve here. And that's it. Oh, oh wait, I forgot about this. There's actually some more uh, of that pattern here as well. I should pull that down there. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, if you want to see more kaijus, let me know. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite kaijus. Gigan is awesome, I think. Um, but yeah, if you found any value in this, uh, please pay it back by sharing the video. Share it with someone that you think will enjoy it. Or go to the bottom right-hand corner, I uh, think, of YouTube and share it automatically to Twitter or anything like that. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, it helps out so much. It takes two seconds to share, and it really, really affects the channel. So 
Uh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy that, and I will talk to you very, very soon. See you later.